it's your boy Connor back with Muscle Addiction, man. If you're new to the channel and you don't know what's about, make sure you stop this video right now. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Y'all know the motto, man. Ain't nothing changed, man. It's just another day, different weather. You know what I'm saying? So, we out here. But uh, I'm going to get straight into this video, man. Y'all see we out here. I got the car out here behind me. Looking real good. I've been out here taking pictures and stuff like that for the thumbnail, trying to get the right picture. But uh, I'm out here in my hometown, out here by the lake. And my um, subscribers from, from, from hometown, man, y'all tap in, man. Tapping in from home base. Hence the 903 on the hem dog. But, yeah, man, we out here. We out here, we out here, man. But... This right here is gonna be a hundred thousand mile update on my Camaro, man. This is pretty much gonna be a video for all the Camaro owners out there. Uh, what to expect? What uh, what issues I've had owning a hundred thousand mile car? Uh, so uh, yeah, man. Let's get right into this video, man. All right, man. All right, all right. So, hundred thousand miles, man. It's it's done. And uh, let me, you know, clarify this right off the bat. I, I hate it. I parked by this trash can. I should have moved it, but anyway, uh, I haven't had the car to hold hundred thousand miles, but the car has been going for a hundred thousand miles. Original powertrain, motor trans, and all that stuff. So, uh, the car was pretty much untouched whenever I got it no modifications no nothing so it's safe to say that you know this is going to be a or uh, authentic a hundred thousand mile update uh so uh yeah man uh right off the bat man i'm gonna start talking about the paint uh the paint on these uh like i don't know if it's just the front bumper i don't know if it's maybe just mine or something i don't know but uh it has developed a lot of rock chips. Uh, trying to find a good spot for y'all, but it's developed a lot of rock chips down here, a lot, and to the point where it's kind of making the finish of the car look different. Like, you know, it looks like it's uh, bugs or something like that on it or something. But I've tried everything. Uh, and I've, I, I even got the car ceramic coated whenever I first got it. Uh, maybe to try to see, I don't know, and I got to paint correct it, but that, that's a whole nother ordeal. You know, I'm, I'm gonna have to go get um, some body work done or another bumper, which I'm, I'm gonna get another bumper anyway, for those that's been watching my channel. But, um, but yeah, um, I can't say, I think these are probably I would, if I was to guess, maybe the second or third set of wheels on the front, because if I'm not mistaken, they came with Michelin Pilot Sports. No, not Pilot Sports. Goodyear Eagles, I think that's what they came with. So those are not the original tires. So of course, the original tires in the factory are not going to last hundred thousand miles. So I don't probably. The car's probably seen three sets of tires on the front. Uh, not really much issue with wear. Like I said, these are the same tires I've had since I, I, I've owned it, and it's been about a year. So, uh, no issues with wear in there, with the suspension, nothing like that. Um, of course, with the back, it's going to depend uh, what your driving habits. But, as you can see, I've had the car about two years not nah, I me mean, a year i'm sorry and uh i went through two sets of tires mind you they the this set wasn't brand new but they were like new and uh they've they've lasted a pretty good little while my goodness what do you like stuff over here what y'all doing man i ain't gonna touch that but yeah man um uh, i guess my lights done went off but yeah those um tires in the back they wear as as expected um the front the front part of the tire is going to wear 
uh, a little bit more than the outside of the tire. Um, I don't know why. I think that's just the way the suspension is set up on these. Um, so that's that's with the tires and stuff like that. What you can expect with uh, with tires, um, pretty pretty standard. I mean, it, as long as you drive drive right, you know you don't have you don't think you have to worry about any issues with that. Um, so yeah, man. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the issues and stuff. Let me pop this hood for y'all. All right, I finally made it up under the hood. Uh, so, I haven't had any issues with the motor. I haven't had any issues with the motor. Uh, it's been running good, all of that. I'm actually going to be due for another oil change whenever I get ready to make it back to the city. And... As far as I can say about the motor, this is the only thing that you really have to have wear through time is the, you know, your valve covers, but, you know, ain't nobody looking up under the hood like that unless you're going to car shows, and, but, I mean, no issues here. I mean, I really don't have to spend too much time up under here. The only thing I can tell you to do is routine maintenance, oil changes, all that. Um, I'm actually going to get ready as soon as I make it back to the city as well. I'm going to give me some spark plugs because it's going to be due for a spark plug change. First spark plug change and I'm going to attempt to do it myself. So, you can see how that's probably going to be. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in on that one in the back back there. But that one's going to be a booger. But I think all the rest of them may be okay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. But, um, yeah, it's about time for a spark plug change. Um, I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys are going to have to worry about this. Like I said, prior to me getting the car, I think this was like this. You know, it wasn't as bad, but through time, I'm pretty sure the wind and stuff getting up under there made it come up. But, you know, that's, that's another thing that you, you really don't see. So, yeah, like I said, on the other video... I got a uh, cold air intake for it. It's really the only thing I've done up under the hood here at the market. So, <sighs> I think that's that on that. Uh, I will advise probably getting a catch can uh, from what I've read. Uh, it, it'll help with longevity on the vehicle if you get a catch can. And uh, it just helps with direct injection engines with... Uh, blow by, you know getting blow by and all that other stuff i mean not blow by but uh oil build up in your intakes and stuff like that and it getting into your uh air fuel mixture and it lowering your come uh your octane rate i'll just it just all of that you know so i would advise getting catch can so yeah that's that oh uh, as y'all know i went and got aftermarket um market lights so the update on those been working fine no issues there all the leds are still working put them back on for y'all real fast all the leds are still working and this is for all the people that said don't cheap out on these i'll put the link back in the description for these right here and it's been some months now and they still as bright as they was all the way around I said there is no LED that has gone out in it. And uh, aftermarket tail lights, they're still working good. Um, no issues there. I love them. And along with these here, these are these are going good. I don't have them on right now. They come on with the hazard lights. But yeah, I say uh, just body wise and stuff like that um you're not gonna have to really worry about anything too much at all i mean as long as you keep tires on it regular routine maintenance that's that so yeah that's all i have on that and i'm gonna try to go over the cost breakdown on what it is on only one of these um and what i've spent on repairs since the past year that i have owned it so i'm gonna tap back in with y'all here in a second after i get my materials together 
So yeah, I'm back, man. I'm back, man. I got my information here with me. So pretty much uh, the breakdown on this car for me. This is this is for me uh, and what I, I paid on it so far. Uh, just basically just what the cost is. is and like I said, this is a 2016 2SS. Pretty much fully loaded everything except for sunroof. Pretty much so. Uh, I paid. Thirty-six thousand three hundred and fifty-two dollars and uh, like sixty cents after taxes for this car. So I like said it's twenty sixteen. Um, so far, since I was this like eleven, ten, eleven months, almost almost a year since I owned it, I paid five thousand two hundred and fifty-nine dollars on this car. Um, and that's with interest as well. And uh, like I said, I still owe like $32,000 on here. So I'm sitting at $32,000, 100,000 miles on the car. You know, I don't, I don't think that's bad. I don't think that's bad. Uh, the mileage, let me see. I put what the, what the average is. The yearly average in Texas on mileage is 16000 172 miles that's just the average texan and uh that's what they that's what they drive annually and i'm gonna probably clock in right around the same right now i'm sitting at 15,209 uh to give or take a couple miles and stuff like that uh when i bought the car it had 84,791 miles and like i said it's uh about to roll over to 100,000 miles um in the next 30 miles so let's see 15,000 i don't think that's too bad uh considering i have three two other vehicles that i am supposed to drive other than this because i told y'all this is supposed to be my weekend driver now this is turning to almost my daily so um I, I i put a significant amount of miles on here for it to be a weekend driver but whenever I drive my cars, man, I drive them. So that's just what it is, man. But uh, yeah, man, uh, I'm paying $560 a month on it with a 3% um, APR. So I'm getting a really good um, interest rate on it. So, you know, paying 560 bucks a month. And uh, my insurance is like 200 and something dollars, I want to say. And I got three other vehicles on there too so you know it's it's a little bit a little bit higher than probably most of y'all's but yeah i mean that's that's what i'm paying on here uh what's crazy is i'm actually paying oh my my paper i'm actually paying less on this than i was on my charger and my charger was was uh was was less than this so it just it goes to show you know that credit is actually a very viable tool to be able to get you some some good rates and stuff like that um on, on your monthly uh payments so uh yeah just something to think about right there man the credit is a real big thing so uh yeah I'm, it's not much like i said i was paying 581 on my charger so i wouldn't you know i'm paying like 20 dollars less but still you know i should have been paying you know, three, four hundred dollars a month uh, for that charger. So, um, yeah, man, that's uh, that's how it's going right now, man. Uh, uh, as far as the repairs and how much I've had to spend on this, um, oil changes have averaged somewhere around sixty-five, sixty-five to seventy dollars uh, every time I go. Um, so that's give or take you know your area it might be a little bit less or more so uh you can be expected to pay you know 55 to 70 dollars for oil change on these so that's you know that's that but that's you know a small price to pay to be able to get a to have a smile on your face every time so yeah um if y'all looked at my other video if y'all haven't go back and watch it about um me having to take my car back to the dealership but pretty much that was uh me uh, having issues with my starter and for y'all that don't know uh these have a uh pretty 
common issue with these starters they have a uh, issue with the heat soak and uh once the cars get you know uh you know so so warm or whatever the starter starts getting hot and then uh the starter starts wearing out and then to create a lot of draw on your battery creating a slow start or no start so um that right there i said y'all go back and watch that video but that repair right there cost me like eleven hundred dollars so um i'm on 12 so that that um, I had to spend that. That was, like I said, that was within a year of owning it. So hopefully I don't have any more of those issues. I'm feeling like I'm starting to get those issues again, but I keep y'all updated, of course. But um, uh, the transmission, the transmission um, has kind of a shutter issue every now and then. Um, it hasn't happened in a while though, but um, it's a, another common issue with these transmissions if you hadn't got the proper uh, transmission fluid type in it. So um, y'all can go in and look that up. There's uh, TSBs on it. And you can actually, from what I heard, and it may still be true, if your car is still under warranty, you can take it back in the service and they'll do a, a fluid flush. And uh, they'll do it, they're supposed to do it like two or three times and then fill it with the proper fluid. And then that should uh, clear up those issues. but. Um, I haven't had any more issues since then. Uh, try not to be camera shy. I'm out here and stuff like that. It's people pulling up and stuff. But I'm just letting y'all know. Beware of those issues right there. Because those are very likely to happen uh, to your car. Uh, with manual transmissions, I'm pretty sure you don't have to worry about that. Just because they um, have a whole lot less gears and, and stuff to worry about. And I'm pretty sure a different type of uh fluid type that goes with those too so you probably don't have to worry about that with those main transmissions but what you have the x-speed automatics um those are are um issues that that, that usually come with those i'm not sure about the 10-speed because i don't have one i can't speak on experience on those and i haven't did the research on that but um that's just that so um yeah i try to get another look at the car Just get a little walk around on it uh the wrap how it's holding up this is probably by far the worst wrap job that i've done even though i don't do this for uh professionally and i don't wrap cars that's just a disclaimer i don't wrap cars i don't want to wrap cars it's not my desire to wrap cars please stop asking me to wrap your cars i hate it but i only do it just because i'm cheap i don't want to spend the money so i want to do it it's not hard for people to learn just like I learned. So go out there, go get you some wrap, experiment with, try it, you'll be surprised. So this is this is mine is turning out to be, like I said. This is the reason why I don't want to wrap people's cars right here. Um, Cause I, I, I take I take pride in my work, you know? And uh, and you would think it being mine, my vehicle, uh, that it would be looking the best, but uh, most of the time, mine is the one that looks the worst. So, yeah, that's just that on that, y'all. I'm ranting a little bit, but that's just that. But, yeah, man, uh, I don't really have too much more to talk about on that. That's just everything to look forward to, uh, 100,000 miles. I know a lot of people have questions uh, on what issues have you ran into um uh, having a hundred thousand mile car or what issues do i need to look forward to or or something like that i mean really not nothing man just get out there and drive them as long as you keep the oil changed on them routine maintenance it'll treat you good and that's that's pretty much with any car so yeah like i said just just drive them man that's all they they meant to do so as far as the interior uh, interior uh don't mind the dirt down here i didn't get the vacuum well the vacuum that i did use the other day wasn't worth two pennies so uh the leather on these um holding up okay they look about like the same when i first got it um i did get something in the mail oops um about the seat belt and the watch out for um because 
if it gets wore out somewhere down here or another with this wire that it won't um work correctly in in the case of accident so um that that is uh something you probably you guys you guys are gonna get in the mail uh I'm not sure about the the 19 and up models but with those i did get something in the mail about that uh, another thing to look forward to uh and i guess not in a good way but it's i guess it's not a big thing uh sometimes whenever you go to start the car and i'm gonna give y'all a quick example real quick i'm not gonna start it but okay i'll let this power up you go here and then sometimes this is what it is right here sometimes this right here won't pop up and this is how you get to um change your exhaust sounds if you have the mpp or oops or uh tighten it up your steering um on your steering wheel so sometimes this won't show up when you start the car up and you have to cut the car off and crank it back up again and it'll pull up with the driving mode but um everything else um you know you these this is uh this is going to happen this is inevitable um this is going to start peeling so look forward to that you can get your aftermarket one or paint take it off and paint it you know it's, it's an e easy way around that but i'm gonna cut this off cut this off because it's too loud all that buzzing and beeping and tweeting man look at this thing Woo. hey bite you you gonna have a time in your life but yeah man that's all i got for y'all in this video youtube that is the hundred thousand mile update that i have for you guys the car has been treating me good uh I would advise getting the extended warranty if you uh, if you're not planning on doing any modifications right off the bat. Get your extended warranty. That uh, extended warranty saved me um, over a thousand dollars in repair. Didn't even know that was going to happen. Thought the car was was good when I drove off the lot. Who would have knew that would have happened? So definitely just be on the lookout for that Camaro owners. The starter and the transmission issue really. The, two biggest issues that i've had at this car so uh yeah man i'm gonna catch y'all back on another one i'm here finished taking a couple pictures um and get a good thumbnail for y'all for y'all view and before i end this video i want to give a big shout out to the young gentleman in new boston texas that pulled up on me at skags and um and and uh and approached me man he, he told me he was a subscriber man I, that was the first time that i've been out of town and uh a random person came up to me and, and uh told me that they they watched my channel and they subscribed to me man so i want to give a big shout out to you my man with the red shirt yes you give a big shout out to you man because i should have turned on the camera and, and let you say something for the people man but i want to thank you to all the rest of the subscribers that come and watch my videos man y'all stay tapped in man um, y'all go browse the channel if y'all haven't. I know I haven't been posting like that, but like I said, it's just been busy at the job and there's been a lot of stuff going on, but I'm gonna start dropping some more content for y'all, man, but just stay, stay posted with me, man. Muscle addiction. Signing out. Yes, sir. Well, it's about that time.